So imagine enjoying concerts on the Ohio River. Look at this from the village of New Richmond. Village officials are asking the state for close to 900,000 bucks for a new waterfront development project. You see it here and it's what it would look like. Investigative reporter Paula Christian shows us why this could be just what the community needs. We believe this is a game changer. Bob Lees grew up in New Richmond back when it was thriving with jobs and money from the Beckjord coal plant. When Duke Energy closed the plant in 2014, it left an uncertain future behind. Because we, we, we did lose a lot when we lost the power plant and we needed something to, to re replace that. Village officials have plans for a new riverfront project called Liberty Landing Park. These renderings show large terraces along along the Ohio River with green space for concerts, a bike and pedestrian trail, and a new boat dock. It would impact as much, if not more, than Smale Park impacting Cincinnati on a, obviously a smaller scale. Andrew Gephardt says Liberty Landing could be transformational, not just for New Richmond, but to boost tourism throughout Claremont County. He is planning and zoning administrator for the village, which got $25,000 from the state last year to develop plans for the park. Now it is asking for 877000 to actually build it. It would celebrate New Richmond as a National Underground Railroad site and connect it to the Ohio River bike trail. Biking, kayaking, uh, you know, hiking, uh, uh, you name it. Greg Roberts is administrator for the village, which just submitted its plans to the county port authority. The port will now score each of the 23 proposals it received and send them to the state in January with its recommendations. Then it will be up to the state to decide which projects it pays for. We pray that uh, that we'll get funded and uh, and, and transform that riverfront uh, for the benefit of, of current current folks and, and forever. Ohio has more coal plant closures than any other state in the country. And as these communities look to transition, this would be a huge win for the village of New Richmond. Reporting from New Richmond, Paula Christian, WCPO 9, I-Team.